and welcome to There is a Beautiful Me. I'm Crystal Davis. If you are new to this show, I welcome you. This show is for anyone and everyone, but most importantly, it's for those young women who are seeking God as being that modest woman and representing themselves in a manner that God would have them. This show is to be uplifting and inspiring to those who want to know more about Christ. During these shows, I will have different guests who will discuss health and natural beauty. So that way you can also be updated on different health and beauty tips. The base and foundation for this show is of a Proverbs 31 woman. So in the beginning, I like to open up with a scripture breakdown of just a few verses of the virtuous woman scripture. Today we will break down Proverbs 31 verses 16 through 18. If you have your Bible, please follow along. Verse 16 reads, she considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. I took this as a way of showing women's independence and taking on challenges or taking on huge tasks. So considers is the decision process and buys is taking on that challenge or accepting the task. In that being women, we take what we are given and put our all into it and slowly build up what we started to something large. Just by taking initiative to put in work and effort into what we feel is worth planting with proper care that we give to that task, we watch it grow into something magnificent. There are examples of great women who fall into this. Rosa Parks and her taking a stand to not move when asked on the bus and started a whole movement. Oprah has moved from just a talk show to having her own network and being one of the top African-American female billionaires. Kathy Hughes went from being a teen mom at 16 to starting the largest African-American owned and operated broadcast company in the U.S., Radio One, and became the first African-American woman to head a publicly traded company. These are just a few. They all took a task or challenge and went in and took the initiative into something they believed in and watched the fruit of what they started grow into a vineyard. That to me is beautiful and motivating. Next, verse 17 states, she sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. This verse still shows how we never stop working or give up. You will face times where you may think you can't do anything. God says different right here. He makes her arm strong for her task. He gives us the strength to make it through. All our help is from him and anything we are given is by him. So despite what or where you may be in your task or challenge, if it was in your heart to take it on, God meant for you to do that. You take the work you put in and go on and work hard and steady for that. Lastly, verse 18 says, she sees that her training is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. Now, this is the end. Once you make it and God has set your footsteps down the path he wants you, don't stop, but you continue to shine and be known. You have everything you need and your light always shines because you're a result of God's work. Your story and testimony from where you were to where you are now is all because of him and his glory is always and forever shown. This has been your devotional on There Is A Beautiful Me. There is a beautiful me and you. You are God's beauty. It's signing out. Do you like glamour, glitz, and God? In this next segment, we will be discussing and demonstrating extreme makeover techniques that will transform you into God's glamour girls. Learn a few tips on makeup application by professional makeup artist Stephanie Graham and a professional wardrobe consultation by image consultant Tony Allen. Lastly, we will focus on a message to transform your minds by author and motivational speaker, Elisa Allen. Stay tuned for more. Princess? Me? I don't feel like a princess. Oh no, I don't feel like a princess. You know what? I just don't look like a princess. Now I'm a princess. Now I'm a princess. Hello and welcome back to the show. As you can tell from the video, these girls are not too sure of themselves, but today we are going from a cover girl to a covered girl. 
As I mentioned earlier, we will transform you into God's glamour girls. I have with me three beautiful ladies from the FBI. Yes, I said FBI, but the FBI I'm talking about is Faith by Influence. This company provides fun, innovative ways to encourage and inspire people in your life. Now, we are blessed to have with us the founder of this amazing company, Alisa Allen. Alisa, thank you for joining me today, especially coming out to share one of your workshops. I'm just so honored to just have you right here in my presence. So just to start off before we go into the show, can you tell me a little bit about the FBI program? Sure. And first of all, thank you very much for um, having us out today, Crystal. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is an honor and a privilege to be here. Um, it's always an honor and a privilege to, to share um, what I've learned and I've experienced in my relationship with the Lord. In 2005, I came across a book um, that was called God Winks, written by Squire Rushnell. And in that book, I read that the premise um, that he had was that oftentimes in life, we have a lot of um, things that occur that we think are coincidences in our lives. And really what they are is God speaking to us and giving us direction and guidance. And the book is just a collection of stories that people have um, actually experienced in their lives that they thought were coincidences and later on realized just how monumental they were. And they were like, oh my gosh, that had to be, that had to be God. Right. So as I read through that book, and learned of other people's stories, I started to examine my own life. Mm -hmm. And they call that a God wink, right? Mm -hmm. So then I started to notice all the different God winks that were happening time after time, day after day in my life. And I began to realize that that was one of the ways that God communicated with me. Mm -hmm. And out of that spawned FBI or Faith by Influence Enterprises. And what it is, it's, it's a compilation of a lot of the lessons that I've learned mm -hmm. through those God winks. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we um, have workshops and seminars that um, are, are interactive, are very fun. They have team building sessions. Um, they also have um, interactive icebreakers mm -hmm. and games, prizes, as well as inspirational and motivational lessons. Mm -hmm. And um, we offer those um, to youth groups and to women's groups and to um, church organizations and civic organizations and in schools. Okay, so about yeah. how many would you say so far that you have done as far as doing the workshops? Um, that with, oh my gosh. It's a lot. Well, we started in 20, formally we started in, in 2012. Mm -hmm. um, I work with KIPP Academy. Okay. Uh, and okay. I also work okay. with um, um, certain church youth groups to be able to do the workshops. Now, Lisa, before we came in, we watched a video clip about the Cover Girl to Covered Girl uh, workshop that we are about to go through today. Can you tell us a little bit like about that video and the meaning behind it? Sure. What inspired that, uh, that video actually was one morning I was getting ready um, for my day and I looked in the mirror and I said to myself, gee, I don't feel like a princess. I, I don't look like a princess. And sometimes I don't even act like a princess. Mm -hmm. And then I remembered um, what, something that I had read in His Princess Bride okay. by Sherry, Shepherd, Sherry Rose Shepherd. And it was a devotional that says, Psalm 139, that I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made yeah. and your works are wonderful and I know that full well. Mm -hmm. And I, when I thought about that, it was like, well, most times I don't know that, mm -hmm. that that's not how I conduct my life, knowing that I'm beautiful, know that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and appreciating that the handiwork that God has done in me is um, one that shines and one that has value in the world, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I moved from reading that scripture to reading the devotional that says, I think you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. You are so beautiful to me. And I wish for one moment that you could see what I see when I look at you. When I gaze at you, I see a treasure ready to be discovered, a princess ready to shine, and a bride ready to be loved. 
when I look at you, I love what I see. If you could grasp how beautiful you are in my eyes, then you would never feel insecure again. The beauty I created you to be is a reflection of me and my love. I created you in my image, so never doubt again that your eternal beauty is a breath of heaven. Love, your adoring prince. Mm -hmm. And that's what spawned the video, and it's also what spawned the uh, interactive workshop from cover girl to cover girl. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah. Because it's a lot, I know, because you see it all the time, and people just don't really see how beautiful they are. And then also, if even with appearances, they, people like to focus on appearance, but it's like beautiful inside as far as your character. You can be beautiful with your dance or with your talent. You know, it's different ways of you know, for beautiful as far as the adjective, it could be an adjective yes. in a sense. We have with us two other ladies in the studio for this segment demonstrating a makeup 101 and different styles and tips on outfits you can wear for various occasions. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. Okay. So I'm very excited for this first lady. We have makeup artist Stephanie Craham. And can you tell us a little bit about her and, you know, what she's going to be talking about? Sure. Stephanie is the proprietor of uh, MIA, which is uh, the makeup image agency. And uh, Stephanie is going to be demonstrating some uh, makeup tips for us today. Okay. And uh, Tony Allen is the founder and proprietor of Simply Style, and um, she is an image consultant and wardrobe um, and a life coach, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And she'll be talking about dressing for success today. Okay, well thank you and let's take a look at that. Hello and welcome to There Is A Beautiful Me. I am here with Stephanie Cram of the Mia Makeup, Image Makeup Agency, excuse me. And she is the executive sales director and also a makeup artist herself. And today we are going to be discussing the external part of our segment, which is beauty. And this is the makeup tutorial. And Stephanie here, can you tell us please first just a little bit about the Mia Agency? Yeah. So. We are a makeup image agency, and what that means is that we are really devoted to not only the application of makeup, but the education that goes behind it. So we have a strong presence inside of all of the schools in Texas. We educate students on how to apply makeup, like what to do with it, what each product stands for, what each product is for really the education portion of what makeup is in total. So our company started about four years ago. We were a warehouse and we were just distributors of cosmetics. Mm -hmm. And then about a year and a half ago, one day we decided, hey, you know, selling products is a lot of fun and a lot of women need makeup, but mm -hmm. there's more to it. Like there's a lack of education in the industry. Mm -hmm. So we started just thinking, went back to the drawing board, and now we go into schools and we educate. And that's really um, the heart and soul of our business. Okay, because I know myself, I need some tutorials <laughs> and uh, some <laughs> tips because I'm not really that too much known about makeup. So this is great for you know both of us because I know this is Chastity, our model for the day, and she's also learning to herself. So can you tell us what you're going to be showing us yeah. On chastity. So I am going to show a full face of makeup. We are going to use airbrush makeup. So this is a line that is specific for like brides, photo shoots, um, mm -hmm. special nights, like really special occasions. This type of makeup, they call it airbrush for a reason. It gives you this flawless finish. Uh -huh. Like your skin, but just flawless. Uh -huh. So you already have great skin. So it'll be really exciting to see what it's going to look like. Yes. Thanks. I'm excited too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. So first we're going to start with primer. Primer is something that is really necessary no matter what type of makeup you're using, <clears throat> not only airbrush. So to give you a little information on this line, Temp2, Temp2 stands for Temporary Tattoo. And they oh, are really the founders of airbrush, airbrush technology, and having this concept be such a big deal. 
It's like if y'all have seen the X-Men movie mm-hmm. and that um, Blue Ivy, that woman, that character, yes. she is temp to airbrush makeup from the head to the toe with a blue makeup. Wow. And they use primer all over her body. So <laughs> this product, what it does, it's like glue for your makeup. Mm-hmm. It makes it last all day. It creates this invisible barrier between your skin and the makeup. Okay. So, yeah, a lot of times people will say that, oh, my face is looking really shiny. My makeup doesn't last a long time. Primer is a solution, or is the only really solution Mm -hmm. for that. And it's translucent, so it's for any skin type. So for that primer specifically, like, okay, I saw you put it on her forehead and her cheeks. Is it okay for the eyes as well? Because I know it's separate, you know, there's eye primer and then there's also the primer you just used. Is there a difference between the two? There is. And you do not want to ever use face primer on the eyes. Okay. Face primer. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Face primer is a much thinner formula and it has vitamins and minerals in it. Okay. So it's going to have the makeup have just a bit of movement allow it to slide around and really like form to your face Mm -hmm. so eye primer is a thicker formula and yeah you want to keep them separate right okay so this is um a concealer a concealer wheel is how we like to use it whenever we're working on a client because you have um, you know tons of different skin types tons of different skin tones and you really want to be able to match the concealer close to the client so With this, you know, and it's really kind of self-explanatory. It's like, you know, I'm not going to use the color with the pink in it. Mm-hmm. This color's too dark. So I think I'm going to so go ahead and... in between. Yeah, okay. use this shade right here. And her skin, like I said, is really great. I mean, most of the time you use concealer to perfect any imperfections, but I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of concealer under her eyes okay. and just a... Um, So yeah, close your eyes. And whenever you apply the concealer, you wanna put it right in the inner corner. Because we have a lot of broken blood vessels in the inner corners of our eyes, Mm -hmm. and that's where the discoloration will begin to show up. Mm. So I didn't know that. So is it only right where you're applying, so you shouldn't go all the way here or well, it just depends one thing with makeup is there are no rules okay right? like you can put I it like wherever it. yeah <laughs> you want to put it but one of the easiest ways to be able to maintain a simple look to mm-hmm. just get up put your concealer on and go with your face powder is to just rule of thumb like keep it on the inner corner of the eyes okay um and like I said her skin is so good that I really don't would you look up for me <laughs> I really don't need to do too too much to her but I'm just gonna go a little, little bit right under there, and then the mm-hmm. airbrush machine is gonna take care of the rest. Everything else. Yeah. Because that is nice. Yeah, so whenever you do it, you wanna get it right on the line mm-hmm. of your eyes, and we have, so just put a little bit. And that kind of helps with brighten, like, you know, I guess that term bright eyes or having that bright eye look. Yeah. Is that, okay. Well, you know what's real go popular is that Kim Kardashian, how she has that, like, really yes. yellow. Uh-huh. And that's something that, you know, I can um, show you another time. But that yellow look is a beautiful look. You mm-hmm. can take a yellow mm-hmm. concealer and just go right under the eyes, and it's photographs well. It just looks great. Mm-hmm. Yellow works on a lot of different skin tones, and it acts as a brightener. It cancels out, like, under eye circles, um, right. redness. So just the next anything. thing. thing. <laughs> It's it's great. Like mm-hmm. yellow, I love love it. It's one of the, it's a big trend in makeup right now. Oh, so yellow. It's a now I'm going it. to color match her face. Okay. So when I color match her, I'm gonna grab two shades and then what we do is we do a small test line. Because mm-hmm. makeup oxidizes, meaning whenever it hits air, it changes color. So a lot of times when we pick out our foundation, we wanna pick it out based on what it looks like in right. a bottle. And you really want to make sure that you actually apply it to the face before you purchase it because once it hits the air, it's going to change colors. Oh, I didn't know that. Why is, do you know why that it's is? Like a, is it, just... it, it just, it oxidizes. So mm-hmm. when it hits air, the formula dries a bit and the mm-hmm. oxygen changes, oh. changes the color to it. And a great thing with, um, airbrush makeup is that you can change you can mix them together yeah I was gonna ask that too so 
Is it often that you would have to mix as far as, you know, to get the right, you know, I guess, complexion I do. to match? I okay. do have to mix it often. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes people are one of these 12 colors, but for the airbrush makeup, you can have it look just perfect, mm -hmm. like the perfect shade where it disappears. So if you see right here, this shade's a bit dark, that shade's a bit light. Okay. So I'm going to take this as my base shade. So I'm going to put majority of this color in with a drop of this to okay. lighten it. And it's just like I said, like there's no rules to makeup. Mm, so you're going to see. <laughs> okay. And then what is this? So is this the airbrush machine? Or? Yes, this okay. is the airbrush machine. So what it is is you have this compressor here. The compressor blows air through this hose. This hose feeds air into this gun. And this is almost exactly what it sounds like. It is an air brush. So mm -hmm. like you have a powder brush where you buff. Exactly. This is a brush of air. And it's going to blow the makeup out in such a way that it lands like just flawlessly. Mm -hmm. So people love to use this because the application technique, you can't mimic it from a brush. Mm -hmm. So one bottle does 25 faces. And then the pack has 12 bottles in it. So oh, wow. if you do the math. Right, <laughs> that's, that's a lot. lot. <laughs> and so Bless I like you. to mix wow. them a lot. But I'm going to mm -hmm. use right now, I'm going to do four drops of this and one drop of that. So for one face, will it, will it take all of it for, you know, four drops and one, like you said, for Usually one face? it takes about, it takes about five drops to do the face. Okay. Now, some people like to have it a little heavier, so then they'll want to double it up, like do ten. Mm-hmm. So whenever I put the colors in there, I like to then put my cap on. I like to just shake it, mm -hmm. mix it up. I like to take my cap off, just look at it. Make sure it mixed well. Yeah, make sure my mixture is mm -hmm. well. Which my mixture could use a little more mixing. So I'm gonna take my tool and I give it a little mix. <laughs> I like cooking, and it's in a well not cooking, but. You know, just mixing it in a way. Yeah, it's like, it's a custom blended color. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like whenever you do it, you just want to mix it up a bit. Mm -hmm. So whenever I turn this machine on, it's going to have air that's going to push through here. Mm -hmm. Now, the way for the air to come out is by pulling this trigger. So if I push the trigger down, air comes out. If I pull it back, color comes out. Mm -hmm. So you see, like, uh -huh. it's just air. Pushing but, it down. Yeah, and now whenever I pull the trigger back, going to begin to release some color. Oh. And as the machine uses the makeup, the color inside of here will go uh -huh. lower, and then that's when I refill. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. About to get started. So I'm about to start. <laughs> and a few rules for airbrush are you really want to make sure that you're having your makeup <laughs> set in such a way that it won't get knocked over. Mm -hmm. And you also want to, it's a circular motion. So you want to make sure you're moving your whole arm and not just your wrist. Okay. So you don't want to startle them. This is just air. Mm -hmm. So I want to start from the top down. It's like you barely see, like you see it, but you know. Yeah, it's one of these things you really have to get familiar with working with it because what's going to happen is you're going to want to think that there's not enough on there. Mm -hmm. And but it really there is. really is, yeah. So as you put it on, would you press your lips together? Yeah, and you just want to always like talk to your client. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have them scared, mm -hmm. you know, and... I'm going in a circular motion right here. To blend it just like I would with a regular brush. Uh -huh. So now for other like blush and um, what is it? Like con for contouring and all those things, would you have to do that prior to putting this on or you would do it after? You do it after, and you do the whole thing with this mm -hmm. gun. Even the blush? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Even the eyeshadow. Yeah. 
Oh, that's, <laughs> I didn't know it did all. I thought it was just for foundation purposes. Yeah, so I'm going to put nice. now some more drops in here. Looks pretty. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put enough right now to do really the center of her face. Mm -hmm. So this time to mix it, I'm just going to put my finger over it and do a little swirl like that. So you always want to start from the top and just mm -hmm. release the air. And as you go around, you really start to build the, mm -hmm. the coverage. So when it Finally, I guess when it all looks blended, that's how you know when to stop. Yeah, and you'll so know, long. like, it, you really, when you use this machine, it's practice because you'll see that it lays down on the skin, and when you back away from it, you mm -hmm. can tell that it's on there. But when you're, you really have to um, get practice in it because the way that the color system works, it looks just like the skin, so you almost can't tell if makeup is coming on the face. Right. You know, and... But it's there. Mm -hmm. And it gives it a flawless look. I can tell under her eyes that it's um, setting in, I guess, if that's yeah, the word. Yeah, you can see that the, the concealer word. is starting to mm -hmm. blend. And with her, I'm going to go through and use a lighter color in her T-zone to really, when we do the highlighting and the okay. contouring. And for those that don't know what the T-zone areas are, can you yeah. show us that real quick? It's this right here. Okay. So it's just like a T. It's right mm -hmm. down there and right down through the here. A little on the sides of the noses. So right now, I finished her foundation. And I'm going to take a few drops of the lighter shade, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get right in her T-zone to brighten her complexion. Mm -hmm. And whenever, you know, you're airbrushing somebody, you always want to keep in mind that, like, from a professional standpoint, this is a very impressive thing for people to see. So mm -hmm. your clients, like, we tell a lot of our cosmetology students, if you're interested in doing this as a profession, your customers love to see this because yeah. it's an experience. You know, they feel really well taken care of whenever they know that you're going through the lengths of, um, you know, applying the makeup like this. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, it's actually very, very simple. Is it an average time that it usually takes for, you know, everything to finish up? Yeah, it this. takes about 15 minutes to do a okay. full face. To do a full face. Yeah, so now we're going to move on to the blush. And whenever you do blush, you know, they, they look kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. you know, they look really, really bright. <laughs> but the colors that um, are in the bottle look different mm -hmm. once they're on the face. So with the blush, you also have highlight, which highlight is a color that has, like, a very beautiful shine to it. Highlight is something that you put on the high points of the face, and you use this to do um, what you call, like, a term in the makeup world is called mapping the face. Mm -hmm. So you go through the whole face, and you look for the high points, and you just kind of map it. You want to make it very even, make sure you go through the whole, the whole face. So there's these colors to choose from, which are all, like, really bright, shiny. Put my gun down. <laughs> Shades. Okay. So I'm gonna let you pick your highlight color. We can mix them too. Okay. Do you have a preference, or I could choose for you? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix gold with this pink shimmer here. It's gonna be pretty. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. This is my favorite favorite part of makeup. I love highlighting so much because um, it, it really just brightens your face. Mm -hmm. It gives you an awake look. 
If you have like dull, sallow skin, if you feel sleepy or tired, adding highlighter is the best way to just brighten it up. Right. And it's quick and it's easy and anything can be a highlighter. Mm -hmm. Like you could grab a white eyeshadow and rub it on your cheeks, you know, and... And that'll work yeah, as far just, as for brightening? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And the key is on the high points. So the high points of her face are going to be here, 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 and here. So anywhere where there's a bone, you just want to That's where you want to put it? So I'm going to do... An even mix like of this. <laughs> and we do, um, we've done airbrush before on different types of industries. So if you're, for example, like a bikini model or you are in a pageant or you're doing something where you have a short skirt on, they'll do their whole leg. And you can airbrush like the front stripe of your leg to mm -hmm. get it. With highlighter. Mm hmm To give it like a <laughs> Barbie kind of leg look. Mm hmm <laughs> That's how they do it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> now it makes sense. <laughs> it's a machine that like you'll see. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the infomercial before for um, airbrush, but mm -hmm. people do it at home. People do it professionally. Mm -hmm. It's Loomis Air or something. Exactly. Something yeah. Something like that. Mm hmm mm hmm And that's just showing you that you can do it on your own you know you right meaning like you can put it on your own face mm -hmm. you don't need to actually have a occasion okay so i'm going to let the air come out i'm going to come through i'm going to highlight right there and the same thing you go in a circular motion And this is just the highlight. This is just the highlight. What I find very interesting is just the fact that, you know, it's there, but you can't really tell that you're, you know, putting that much on there. Mm-hmm. Because I'm starting to see on her cheekbones. So when it gets to this more, well, for her, this like a bronzy look, and then that's when that's enough for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one, it's um, it's just you're going for like a light little shimmer, really, right. and just enough to to give the face a little bit of a glow. Mm -hmm. So after the highlighter comes the blush. Now for the blush, there are several different colors. I don't know what the the pink be too much. The middle one. Middle pink, yeah. Let's see what it looks like. What do you think, Chess? Um, I'm not sure. You're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> She's like just whatever. Yeah, <laughs> whatever you decide. <laughs> so with I think the, that'll be nice. Yeah, and for spring, pink is mm -hmm. a beautiful color for blush. And it goes great with I think with her shirt, mm -hmm. the green. Pink and green. So the same thing, you just want to push the air through. I want to feed it and see if it's when the color comes out. So I start. So we're getting rid of the rest of the airbrush bowl. So you want to make sure that's completely out before you apply? Yeah. Is yeah, that look, whenever okay. we go into the schools and we teach our students, we teach them to go from darkest color to lightest color. So that's mm -hmm. why we start with the foundation first, right. then the highlighter, then the blush, then we go into the contour. Mm -hmm. That way you don't ever have to clean your gun until you get to your next client. Mm -hmm. A lot really of our sense. trainings are for professionals and um, how to apply it. So when I'm speaking, a lot of times I uh -huh. have to, you know, mm -hmm. I speak as if we're talking to students learning uh -huh. <laughs> at the school how to put this on cosmetology. Well, that's fine. Okay, so for the blush, we're going to start with the cheek. You can always ask your client to smile, so just mm -hmm. smile. <laughs> smile pretty. Yay. So when you go up, is that just part of the whole motion? I want to go up because I want to lift her cheekbones up. Okay. So whenever I do any sort of blush, I always keep it up. 
I always go back to the hairline. Mm -hmm. And I always put a little bit on the forehead, too. Oh, really? Just right at the top? Mm -hmm, right on the hairline, yep. And if you see, you can start to tell that the blush uh -huh. line will be right there. Oh, it's pretty. I never thought to put blush on my forehead. That's different. What does that add to the look with putting the blush up on I mean, your forehead? What it is, it's funny, you know, human beings, when makeup, are, so when you're a baby, like a baby's face that is round mm -hmm. is said to be the most attractive face to look at, like a very symmetrical face. Mm -hmm. So you always want to balance everything out and putting it on the forehead pulls it together. Mm -hmm. It gives an even balance. Oh, okay. allows the eyes to just focus. All right. And it's more so like framing her face as well. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It seems like. That's exactly what it is. It's really like the mapping the face, that term I said, it's mm -hmm. the same thing. It's like you're just going around framing. So after we do the blush, and this is a very like natural bright look that we have on her. Mm -hmm. So next I'm going to apply um, contour. So to do contour, you want to do two shades darker than the natural skin tone. So for this instance, when you said going, you want to go from dark to light, is that just specifically for, you said like for, you know, your primer and then the foundation and then the blush and yeah, highlight? Yeah, and what I meant is light to dark, actually. Okay. It's light to dark. So light to dark, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Got it. Yes. And the contouring, that's more so inside the cheekbone areas? Is that the only spots for that? Yeah, contouring can be the cheekbones right here. Contouring, you want to put in all the hollow points. So if we have a bone up here, there's a hollow point right under it. Mm -hmm. And then um, under the chin bone, there's a hollow point right under that. On the nose, right down the sides. Mm -hmm. So this is where the bone is, and these are the hollow points right next to it. You always want to put the contour right next to the highlight, but on the lower parts. Right. So. There's so many spots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and after you practice it like three or four times, mm -hmm. a lot of our trainings we do are all hands on because we found out that the client really does not master something unless they're practicing it themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's like you pair up with a model, a lot of people bring their friends, and you just go through and. Um, practice doing it on each other and then you do it on yourself in the mirror mm -hmm. so that way you can really master contouring because there's a lot to it mm -hmm. you know it's just it's a comfort right. level and once you, you feel it you got it and do you necessarily have to do all the areas or it's just best to do those so it's a complete look as far as for mapping your face it's um best to do under the cheeks that's the one that, like must do. Must like, do. Don't okay. skip or mess around with going up the jeans. <laughs> but as far as um, other areas, no. It just depends what you want to contour. Like okay. some people really want to contour their nose, or some people really want to contour. Let's say they're under their chin, mm -hmm. so they'll make sure to just do that. Okay. Just one side. Mm -hmm. And then I'm shielding right here. That way I can keep an even, you want to do an even line leading right back to the ear. Okay. So I'm shielding this. So interesting. And then do a little bit right. Along the forehead? Mm-hmm. Little bronze. And now I'm going to turn down my compressor a bit. I'm going to do a little on her nose. Mm -hmm. 
That just a, helps with the pressure, exactly. so it's not it, as like, okay. Gauge the the makeup so. in two ways. You can control it with the amount of color you're mm -hmm. putting in this wand, and you can also control it with the amount of air that comes out of this machine. Okay. Because if you had it high, I'm pretty sure it'd be like a spot on her nose. Mm -hmm. If you, <laughs> it would be like a like if we were doing graffiti or something. <laughs> <laughs> and marks all over your face. <laughs> Just put a couple more drops in here. And on this one, I'm going to come right down the sides of my nose. It's going to be really soft, nothing too much. And then I'm going to knead it right at the tip of the nose. Okay. Just enough to do mm -hmm. a little, little yes. difference. And other than that, now we're going to get into the eyeshadow. Okay, let's get a good look at, if you can, on her nose, on what she just went it around this area, and then she did also the tip of her nose, and then on the other side right here. And this is really like what it's like to contour the front of the face. And mm -hmm. now I'm going to contour a little bit under her chin. I'm going to turn up the pressure a little more. With this one, it's going to come down and blow a little bit right under her chin. And then on this opposite side of her face, the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, well, I guess you under like the jawline area. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of, it, what it does is it, it squares up your face. It makes your lines more defined on mm -hmm. your skin. So you're able to have definition, a little bit more definition. Okay. Yeah. And now for the eyeshadow, I am going to put, so can you see a difference in her face? Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. A good difference. It's beautiful. Yeah, it and then is. whenever you're um, going to go with the eyeshadow, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a smoky eye on her. So oh. I'm going to use this reddish brown color. And inside of this, a lot of people think with airbrush you cannot do eyeshadow. So mm -hmm. it's fun with, with this scheme is that you can actually use these colors right on your eyes like you mm -hmm. would regular eyeshadow. And it does the blending for you. So as far as like getting a really great look. This is different. I'm just gonna turn it down a bit. And this would be for her lids. Like you can do it for each part of the eye, like the lid, the outer, and mm -hmm. the crease, and the brow. You, yeah, and they even make it for the brow as well, mm -hmm. which is, it has fibers that actually make your hair appear fuller and thicker. So you can actually do, you know how they do the shading, you know, you can do like mm -hmm. a pencil, you can actually airbrush and yeah. do your brows. Because Are you the stencil, so you can uh -huh. stencil your brow, and like stencil the shape, however you want the shape to be. So with this one, I'm going to do a little technique here. And you can do this with any powder eyeshadow, too. Take a sticky note or a piece uh -huh. of tape and just fold it, press it right there. So whenever I go in right now to, I'm going to turn this down a little bit more. Sticky notes. And what it does is it gives you almost like a line of demarcation mm -hmm. so you know where you're working. And if you see right there, it oh. starts like the corner of a smoky eye already. It is pretty. <laughs> and it's, and it it's wasn't fast. a lot. It's right. Pretty, I was going right? to say, you didn't even do so the eyes probably take, what, maybe five minutes, yeah, depending? if that. So you go outer in. So I know for myself, I'm probably doing it wrong then because I usually okay. do my lid first. Mm-hmm. Well, 
so there's three shades for a smoky eye. It's kind of mm -hmm. best thing to do when you're doing it with powder eyeshadow is to use the light color, the medium color, and the darker. Right. With this one, I'm going to start with the outer first because with an airbrush machine, you can get such a clean line. You right. Know? So you can really get a really cool, artistic, like, smoky eye. Yeah. So, yeah, if you look at me, open your eyes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to even put a little more. I'm going right here. Put a little more on the edge. Going a little more deeper right here. That is really pretty. Give her a little more color right there. Okay, open your eyes. Yeah, so as you get used to it, you can just continue to kind of like add a bit more here. Uh -huh. Add a bit more. So now I'm going to put a shimmer color in to complete it. Mm -hmm. But first you want to make sure that you get rid of your... All the color out color. first. Yeah. That's real nice. And whenever you go for any pictures or you want to make this look any sort of... Um, if you're going for a special occasion or you mm -hmm. want to have a certain look you can really achieve it with, I mean, powder makeup, but with the airbrush, the difference is it just gives you this, like, clean, clean yes. look. Yes. Let's face forward real quick so he can get a shot. And this is the outer eye portion of her look for her smoky eye. So this is just the beginning, and it, it looks really nice because it's really blended and it's not heavy. It's just very flawless, like she said. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm still running my color through. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Okay. And now I'm going to use a. Let's see. I'm going to use two colors. First, I'm going to use this coppery shade right here, which we highlighted our face with, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to use a little bit of a white shade mixed in with that. So what's the reasoning behind mixing with the white? Is it just to brighten it, to brighten the color? or? It is. It's anytime you highlight eyes, you always want to use a color that is so bright. Mm -hmm. So like white works really great because like I have under my eyes white right now. Mm -hmm. And whenever you put your um, eyeshadow on, it really frames the eye. It gives a really great highlight and it gives a really sleek professional look without a lot of, um, you know, a lot of difficulty in the application. Mm -hmm. And the color white is uh, great for under the brow because it makes it pop out. It makes it look very pronounced. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to go in and highlight under her eyes and I'm going to also do a little bit of a, a little bit of like shimmer in her smoky eye. Okay. You said this is for the inner part, This correct? is for, yeah, the inner okay. part of the eye. So right now, same thing. I'm going to just ask her to our model to close her eyes. Let's get open. Yeah. See how pretty it looks. Oh really. my gosh. It's <laughs> blended so well. Beautiful. Good. So once done, as far as like, you know, eyeliner, mascara, you would just use whatever you have Correct. for that? Correct, yeah. Okay. One, the one thing this machine does not do is, I, <laughs> is, is eyeliner. airbrush eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I say. Absolutely. If they do that, then, you know, yeah. that's a done deal. You don't need anything <laughs> else. All you need is an airbrush machine. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to add a little more white in here. And then on the white, I'm going to go in and highlight under her eyebrows. 
All right, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna highlight under her eyes. And to do that, I'm just gonna use my stencil again. I'm gonna take this, hold it right there. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> end. <laughs> So this is just the white? This is the white with a little bit of the bronze left over in okay. the gun. Just to, to give a little color into the eye. And mm -hmm. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might. Whenever you, you you're uh -huh. just going to hold the gun, okay. press it, pull back for color. And you won't even barely see the color come out. I mean, it's mm -hmm. coming out a little. But just press it down. Like, no color is coming out. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to hold this stencil here. And while I hold it, you're just going to go in little circular motions right along the edge of it. Okay. And then do this. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so, now, so how do you... Okay. Never mind. I think I got it. Is it okay if I and use both hands? And you hold it hands? like a pencil. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is it okay if my fingers back here? It could or? be. Yeah, that's fine. You just want to... Most people hold it like a pencil. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and you just get used to it, pull it back for color, mm -hmm. and you make little circles. Is it there? Mm -hmm. I can't really tell. It's coming out, yeah, and you're just going to want to make really tiny circles right in there. Awesome. And then I'm going to move the stencil right now here. Okay. Hopefully not. I'm and not going to miss you, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> and then whenever you do on this one, you're just uh -huh. going to want to keep it here and into the inner corner of it. Oh. Right there? Yep, perfect. That's it? Yep. Oh, that's nice. I would never think to go along the inner mm -hmm. like eye right from in the there. top. So there's, that's, so that's also, well, not considered the brow, but you just go from there into the crease. Yeah, into the crease. Okay. Exactly. And you can even do a little more like highlighting right over here okay. on the end of the brow. So let me go ahead. <laughs> I'm still learning. Is it there? Now mm -hmm. I can go down. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, okay. Perfect. I saw it. Yeah. Good job. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks beautiful. And you don't have to do anything extra. It's that is already it. done. That is a full face of airbrush makeup. And then, okay. you know, it's a, when you're complete with it, because we used our <laughs> primer, so it's ready to stay, and she can go do anything she wants to do. All right. And look like this. So how long? So it's, it can last a full day. This will last until she goes to bed at night. You know, okay. it, meaning like she'll have to take it off with makeup, a mm -hmm. towelette or a makeup remover or something like that. But it's not a lot. It's not heavy. It's not. Now for lips, can you airbrush lipstick? You can put a little bit of color on the lips. <laughs> they say you can. I'm kind of like, all right. Like, right. <laughs> it's like, let's just put on your, put right, on your put favorite on your lip gloss <laughs> and call it a day with that. And then you put on your own um, eyeliner and your own mascara. Okay. Well, this is our full face. Chessie, how do you feel right now? Um, I feel really great. You do? Yeah, <laughs> well, thank you so much, Stephanie. You're I do appreciate welcome. it. And this has been the beauty segment of Cover Girl 2, Covered Girl. After looking in the mirror and seeing all of the amazing work that Stephanie has done to me, I really do feel like a princess. Thanks, Mia, and thank you, Stephanie. Okay, we are back, and Elisa, that makeup, it was just beautiful. I like her face was just radiant, and I learned a lot of tips about it. So how did you, what did you think about it? I did as well, and, and as you mentioned earlier, um, our external appearance mm -hmm. is something that um, the, the rest of the world focuses on. So having an opportunity to know how to present ourselves um, by applying makeup in a way that makes us feel good on the outside as well as on the inside is very beneficial. Next, we are going to talk about our style and how we can dress modestly and professionally. We have wardrobe consultant, Ms. Tony Allen, here in the studio to show us some ideas of her alternative styles to a professional, modest look. 
Elisa, can you tell us a little bit more about Miss Allen, Miss Tony Allen? Sure. Tony is the founder of uh, Simply Style. Um, she has over 30 years worth of experience in uh, wardrobe consultation and image consulting. Mm -hmm. um, she um, is really, really creative and very, very talented at, be at assisting people in coordinating outfits on uh, an appropriate budget. Okay. Yeah. This sounds good to me, so stay tuned and let's take a look. Hello and welcome back to the wardrobe segment of Cover Girl to Cover Girl. With me is Miss Tony Allen, and she is a fashion consultant and also a life coach. Life coach, and she is going to be telling us about little wardrobes from her own company, Simply Style. Thank you very much, You're Crystal. Welcome. It's a pleasure being here yes, today. Yes, thank you so much. I'm very excited about this, and I hope that you guys are too, everyone that's watching us. Uh, I am an image consultant. I've been in fashion, working in fashion for more years than I care to admit, <laughs> so, but I am ex well experienced. That comes with age, comes with experience. And I think you, I have a lot to offer you. We're going to not be too detail-oriented, but just try to, uh, talk about some things maybe from a different point of view that you've heard uh, with uh, dressing for success. It's very important uh, to know who you are uh, and where you're going and setting goals. And you can have the right thing on, but it's a package. So it's not necessarily because you have the right clothing on the outside that it's going to work for you on the inside. And so what we want to talk about today and what we want to show you briefly, I have two lovely models that are going to come out in a few minutes. And we're going to talk about how important it is to have the right things on. Um, it's an image thing. You only have a second to impress person, people. When they first see you, uh, they're going to say, wow, she doesn't look like she's trustworthy or wow, I don't know if I want to work with that person. So how you look and how you present yourself uh, has a lot to do with how people, what people think of you and the perspective that they have of you. So what we're going to do right now is just bring out our two lovely models. And uh, we're going to, Ty is our first model. She's in the banking business. Very lovely young lady. I'm sure that uh, we can all agree upon that. Mm -hmm. um, and as you see, she's wearing something that's very important, the smile. The smile uh, is very, very necessary. Regardless of what you're wearing, you got to have the smile. Uh, she's also wearing separates. Uh, she has an outfit on that you can wear day, night, uh, we call ageless, we call non-seasonal, things that you can travel with, uh, something that she can wear on her job. She's in banking. Uh, you uh, put on a jacket, take off a jacket, change your accessories, and she's ready to go. So this is the thing that we want you to recognize. It's not how many pieces you have, but what you do with the pieces that you do have. So thank you very much, Ty. We're going to bring out our next model. Tony, real quick, um, for her heels, I noticed that they uh -huh. weren't high. So is uh -huh. the heel, does the heel height also have an effect as far as with your image? Yes. Is that very important? Yes, okay. yes, exactly. Especially if you want to be a professional in the professional world, heels are very important. Mm -hmm. uh, you can never go wrong if you, pumps are preferable. If you want to make an impression on per, a person, you want, are you a career person or are you going to the party? So the shoes are important. The height of the heel is important. The heel can be too high. So let's say two and a half to three inch heel is, is perfect. Okay. Perfect. Thank, Thank you for asking that question. <laughs> Thank you. If you have any other, be sure and let me know. I will. I'll okay. And this is Miss Alicia. Uh, she's a model that's been with me a long, long time. Mm -hmm. She's in education. Okay. Very professional as well. And as you can see today, if you'll notice, We've brought things that are traditional, very not complicated, uh, things that, again, which are ageless, 16 to 60, things that you, if you want to uh, put on the slacks, if you want to 
mm -hmm. um, ad address or whatever it is, you have these pieces here and you're ready to go for the day, the evening, or to work. She can go to church, she can go for an interview, whatever it is that you, you might need. And I noticed her jacket has like little studs on it and it's not too much, it's not distracting, it's very, you know, simple like you said and very elegant and classy. Right. So and and I'll share, so I'm sorry, I'll share this. That now, in, in your wardrobe that you should in, make investments. This jacket is an investment. Mm -hmm. So you have pieces that are investments, so you pay for those pieces. That's something you can go Western, you can go, you know, there's so many different things you can do with that jacket mm -hmm. and you can add to it. So it's very important to have pieces that plain lines, good colors. Uh, we'll show you a couple of trendy colors today. They're nice, but they're trendy. Okay. They're trendy, pink today, green tomorrow. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, thank you very much, Alicia. Did you have any questions for me? Oh, Crystal? well, really, I just love the style that you have for the ladies today and then the print shoes, you know. And, you know, I know sometimes people can be a little bit concerned about print because they may think it's either too loud or I might be doing a lot. So for print uh -huh. shoes, even though hers was more, it was more subtle uh -huh. and it was very nice and really complimented with her outfit. So can you maybe talk a little bit about print shoes? Like what's yeah. good well, and... I'll tell you, <clears throat> that particular shoe, what you, what you have, what I pay attention to and I suggest to my clients, how many times have you want to, you know, you have an engagement, you go, oh, I have a black dress, I don't have black shoes, or I don't have the right shoes. That shoe has a black heel, and then it has kind of beige tone, it's kind of a skin, snake skin look. So it gives you that option to put the beige with the black. Yeah. So print shoes are okay as long again, if it's a nice basic pump, maybe a sling pump, your toes are in, something that's classic, and something that you can pick up colors. It gives you an option to be able to wear, and to pull a color where normally you'd say, well, I can't wear this because I don't have the right shoe. So it's a little, little trick to it. And, and like everything else, everything in moderation. Mm -hmm. That sounds yeah. good. Well, in a few moments, we'll have the ladies come back out and they will show you another wardrobe set. Stay tuned. Okay, we are back and we have the models here with us and Tony is going to explain what they are wearing. Okay, thank you very mm -hmm. much, Crystal. You're welcome. Okay, we're going to have our first young lady come out again, Miss Ty. Yes, and this is and really Yes, cute. she has on this gorgeous, gorgeous, it's electric blue or royal blue, regardless of the, uh, depending upon what you want to call it. And as we said earlier in the segment, this is just a, a two-piece, very tailored, but what has made the difference, she accessorized. Just a simple scarf. Uh, but a beautiful scarf, very colorful. Mm -hmm. So as we, I think we talked about uh, before too, if she, when you say shoes, because of her scarf, she could have a, a real pump or a nice sling, something still tailored, a green shoe. Or she, if she wanted to go out in the evening, you could take and uh, put more uh, dressier earrings on and she could have bangles on. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to another level. So this would take her to a wedding to church, mm -hmm. to wherever it's there's no place that she can't go in this. And I like it because yeah. it's it's very elegant. And then even right. with the tucked in, you know, shirt at the front, and then you have the shirt that comes out in the back. If you can show that again, the back yeah, of your um, yeah, and very soft. Yes. Right, and no. it's not too it's not too right. long. It's just you know it flows and it hangs right. just right. And I really right. that's so cute. And if you notice too, it's. <laughs> Very creative. Everyone can do that. Mm -hmm. You see the shirts like this all the time, and they're out. Mm -hmm. But she has hers up in the front and yes. and down in the back. Mm -hmm. So she's created a totally different look. Yes, she has. Uh, that's her signature look. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Thank Ty. You. you look beautiful. I need to get me some more scarves. <laughs> uh, oh. Wow. Okay, Miss Alicia. How about this color? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Again, this is a classic. We've seen this for years and years. The grandmother has it, the mother has it, everyone has it. Mm -hmm. And what has she done differently? Some people think, okay, I can't wear this jacket because I don't have a black skirt. 
But what did she do? She added a solid color. Yeah, she put this beautiful, beautiful color, a very gorgeous, uh, what do we call that, fuchsia, I think? Mm -hmm, I would say fuchsia or yeah, magenta. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. And she had, look at her scarf also. She's incorporated a scarf, and it's very simple but colorful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it ha it's not covering her jacket. You can still see the outfit. Yes. Um, and she has on our favorite. You mm -hmm. can't go wrong. When you're, done, when you're not sure, yes. you can always pull out those black pumps. Mm -hmm. So, and, and she also has her earrings are very lightweight. You notice we're wearing a lot of hoops now. So you don't want to take away from, jewelry's okay, but you should uh, accessorize in moderation. Mm -hmm. So I think what, we, what we're what we trying to get across here today to everyone is that separates are your number one friends. Investments are very important to embrace your uniqueness and and realize that you have your own look and unless with that look will not do you any good at all if you don't bring that smile with you? Mm -hmm. So this is an image, and I think that we've uh, certainly impressed you today. Mm -hmm. And I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing what we've tried to present to you. And thank my models very much. I'd like yes, to have them to come back. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So you can get one more look. Okay, ladies. Mm -hmm. And turn around slowly so we can see how beautiful <laughs> you are. Pretty. And then the scarves also yes. had, you know, like for her, yes. she has the magenta color. Right. And, did you, and then the lipstick, her mm -hmm. lips. I like the color. Yes. Too. And what about, uh, would much. you turn mm -hmm. for me, Alicia? Her hair. Yes. It's up in a bun yeah. and it's, you know, pulled yeah. back away from her face so right. you can see. And a different smile. type of bun, a little to the, so uh, to the side. Mm -hmm. And again, very classic, can go anywhere. So this is what we're talking about. And one of the things that I always try to say to people too, my favorite phrase is 16 to 60. Mm -hmm. This is ageless. Anyone can wear it. Any size can wear it and anyone can wear it. Now, some of us may have to drop our skirts a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but she still has those options and... Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you very, very much. You ladies are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much again, Ms. Tony, for showing us no, thank everything. You. I appreciate thank you coming you. out. And I hope you all learn something and, you know, have your own style. Like she said, be unique and embrace your beauty. And we are back, and I'm just so excited. I'm so filled with just knowledge of and understanding really about this whole workshop. I learned everything from makeup to wardrobe and it's just so many different things and I hope you learned some stuff too as well that you can apply to your style and make it unique and that was something great that Tony pointed out to us today and Elisa also she is an author and motivational speaker and she has her own book that she's in prophetically speaking and it's volume three and it's by bb ministries and she has just done a lot she's been through so many transformations and in her book she shares her own personal stories of her life so elisa can you please just tell us you know for this cover girl to cover girl just how you know to tie it all in and how you basically take it on yourself sure the from cover girl to covered girl yeah. was is an idea of like taking the way the world sees us, cover girl makeup, the mm -hmm. external part of who we are, which is really, really an important part of who we are. It's a part of our self-expression. Um, it's a part that's exciting and a part that we enjoy, you know, how we put our makeup on, how we express ourselves through clothing and our wardrobe. And so those are two aspects of, of this workshop. Um, there's also some internal um, exercises that we do as a part of the workshop. Uh, there's a, a uh, we start off having fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the key to all these workshops is really having fun and having an opportunity um, to transform and learn things about yourself and, and other people in, 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 in conjunction while you're there. Um, so we have a, a game that's an icebreaker, princess icebreaker, right? Mm -hmm. That contains jewels 
um, that you get together in a team building exercise and you have fun doing that. Mm -hmm. And then we move on to the segment where we do the makeovers. And then we move on to the segment where we do the wardrobe consultation. And uh, lastly, we have an opportunity to look inside and inwardly. Mm -hmm. And really the purpose of the workshop is for everyone who attends to have an opportunity to just realize how much God loves them. Yeah. I mean, that's the takeaway message mm -hmm. uh, that no matter what you look like, mm -hmm. no matter how you dress, on those days that you're very well adorned, very well put together, the makeup is flawless, mm -hmm. you know, the outfit is like your favorite and you're yes. feeling really good about yourself. <laughs> uh -huh. and you're like, okay, this is a great day and I, I got it, God. I, you know, today I'm walking in, I'm shining. Mm -hmm. And then there are other days in our lives where not so much, right. Right. where we're not, we're in the makeup and mm -hmm. the makeup is really a mask that covers up the insecurities that we have mm -hmm. and the way that we feel about ourselves and the way that we feel that other people feel about us. Mm -hmm. And the wardrobe, not quite what we'd like it to be. And, uh, and internally, you know, we're having struggles about, am I good enough? Am I pretty enough? Am I smart enough? And it's in those days and in those moments that when you can hear God's voice say to you, yeah. you're more than pretty enough, you're like incredibly beautiful to me. Mm -hmm. You're amazingly smart. You are my daughter, you are my princess, you are my joy. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to know is on those days when you don't feel that you're at your best, I see you at your best. Yeah. Yeah, and beautiful. that's the purpose of from cover girl to cover girl workshop yeah. is to leave there with the knowledge and the security of knowing no matter how you feel, no matter how you, what you think you look like, that you are God's princess. He always sees you that way under any circumstances mm -hmm. and in, in any predicament, no matter what you do, what you say or what you look like or how you feel. Exactly. And I really hope you, anybody that's watching really takes this into account and really just apply it to your life. And as you grow and as you read your word also, because yes. being in his scripture, especially with Proverbs 31 and being that virtuous woman, this really all ties in together as far as being that that woman, that cover girl, being modest and being beautiful because you are beautiful to God. And it's like nobody can tell you any different. And Alisa, you also have with you a- Yes. Some inspiration. So this is our mm -hmm. takeaway message. Okay. So going from cover girl, right? Yes. To being a covered girl, mm -hmm. which means God has you covered in any situation, in any circumstance. Mm -hmm. So this says, you know, I'm, I'm not a perfect girl and my hair doesn't always stay in place. I spill a lot of things, I'm pretty clumsy, and sometimes I even have a broken heart. My friends and I, sometimes we fight, and maybe some days nothing goes right. But when I think about it and I take a step back, I remember how amazing life truly is. And through all my imperfections, God still loves me yes and that is beautiful beautiful thank you so much alisa thank you I, Crystal. I really do i really do appreciate i can't say thank you enough because i really am grateful to have you here and sharing this message and i know it's going to impact a lot of people and a lot of young women at that and also just to close out this is this has been another segment of there is a beautiful me you just saw cover girl to covered girl and if you want to learn more about my show and what I do you can always check out my YouTube channel at there is a beautiful me and you can email me at proverbsbeauty31 at gmail.com and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at prov p r o v 31 beautiful this is Crystal your host have a beautiful day there is a beautiful me and you you are God's beauty inside and out
Thank you so much, Elisa, and to everyone else here today. Stephanie, Tony, models, y'all were beautiful. Please stay tuned for more information on the FBI workshops. If you would like to have them come demonstrate a workshop at your facility, feel free to contact Elisa at Elisa Allen at faithbyinfluence.com or you can call at 281-619-6538. Ladies and gentlemen that are watching, I really hope you enjoyed this segment as much as I did. This has been an amazing experience for me working with these ladies. They have put in so much time and effort to make this happen for you all. So I really hope you received this message in a way that helped you with your spiritual walk with God. Before we go, I do have a special guest artist in the studio with me. His name is Quincy Weststone, aka Q Stone, and he is a producer, songwriter, sound engineer, musician, and artist. Quincy has produced many hip hop beats for many artists in Houston and across the nation. Quincy admits that throughout the years, he became increasingly tired of hearing people use his music to deliver content that was not positive or uplifting. It became less about money or recognition from working with a particular artist and more about the message. After stepping away from the industry for a few years, Quincy realized it was time for him to use his music to express his inner voice. He states, one day out the blue, while I was driving home, I decided that I was going to give all my talents to God and use them in the way that he wants me to use them. Man, that's powerful. Now, Quincy uses his voice and music to express a positive and spiritual message in his own style. As Quincy likes to state from 1 Peter 4.10, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace. So please stay tuned for Mr. Q Stone himself. And remember, there is a beautiful me and you. You are God's beauty inside and out. Don't let nobody, no situation, dictate how your day going to go. I know sometimes you can have a bad day, but if you wake up in the morning and you just say, I'm going to have a good day today no matter what, I think you'll be all right. I'm feeling real good. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. I'm feeling real good. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. I done hopped up early in the morning feeling good. I'm blessed with another day to see my neighborhood. Just to walk outside and see the sun shine. I got to keep in mind that I could have been blind. So I can't complain about nothing. I got to get up, move around, and do something. I can't sit still. It still ain't the will of the Lord. I got to have faith and work hard and seek ye first. Get everything I need. Get everything I need in this world to succeed. Right in front of me, it's my destiny, and all my promises are from G.O.D. Huh. I'm, feeling, I'm feeling real good. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. I'm feeling real good. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. Yeah, you know we all got haters. Yep. We all know people that are dirty, greedy takers. That's right. Uh, so why you loving that money? He will never ever leave us. He will never forsake us. See, now I'm not afraid of the world. I ain't scared of no stones. Me or more to try to hurl at me. And now I ain't worried about you. Worried about all the evil things you gon' do. So move around. Just move out my way. I ain't got time for what the devil got to say. I ain't worried about this. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about the past, cause the past will hold you back. I'm feeling real good. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. I'm feeling real good. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. I'm so glad I woke up this morning. Hallelujah. I'ma say amen. amen. 
Life too short, you can't let it fall apart. Just put it in God's hands, cause he be in command. Yeah. You gotta stay focused on what he's saying. Listen carefully, he'll show you the whole plan. Right. Uh, and watch your life get better. All the unknowns in your life will get settled. Yes, yes, I must confess that I am blessed. Yes, 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 I must confess. It's a good day. Yes, yes, I must confess that I am blessed. Yes, 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 I must confess. I'm feeling, I'm feeling real good. Jay, come on. That's right. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. I'm feeling real good. Jay. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. Yes, yes, I must confess that I am blessed. Yes, 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 I must confess. It's a good day. Yes, yes, I must confess that I am blessed. Yes, 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 I must confess. It's a good day. Yes, yes, I must confess that I am blessed. Yes, 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 I must confess. It's a good day. Yes, yes, I must confess that I am blessed. Yes, 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 I must confess. Yes, come on. It's a good day today. That's right. Huh. Don't worry about nothing. Don't let nothing stop your glory, your joy. Yeah, come on.